Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Elden Ring video. Today, we have a really cool guide for you. I'm going to show you how you can get this secret NPC, Rodrika, the Spirit Tuner. Now, she's going to do some amazing things. You'll be able to upgrade your spirits, making them more powerful. And in today's video, I'll show you exactly what you need to do in order to unlock this. Now, it's going to start off rather easy now we all are going to be doing the same thing heading our way up to the first castle right here at the storm hill shack is going to be the first time that you meet this npc now when you first time that you see her she's really not going to have anything to say to you but if you speak to her a few times back to back she's going to drop this little item for you right now just go ahead and pick it up for now you're not going to be using it anytime soon but Afterwards, yeah, you're gonna head over to that lovely place called the Round Table Hole. Trust me, if you haven't unlocked this yet, you will as long as you keep hitting these save spots. Saving Grace, the lady will pop you up. Eventually, she will have you come over here to the Round Table. Right now, after you head over there, and then you come back over here to the shack and you speak with her, you'll talk to her about the round table. You kind of tell her, you know, you should join over there. She like, ah, I don't know, I don't really think I will, maybe. Then you head back over here to the round table hole. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, after you finish talking to her yet again, she'll leave you a nice little note letting you know that she has returned. It just takes you a few days in game. You know, takes time for her to leave the spot and then show up here. So. Here she is, and here's her dialogue. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive, guy? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become an Elden Ring. I never knew you could come in. I'm still lucky. It's all a bit much, but I'm still lucky. Alright, sweet. After you finish talking to her, you want to turn around and head over to the blacksmith. You want to speak with the blacksmith, and then he's going to have a little bit more dialogue for you to continue the quest line. Well, where are you from? I'm actually out your own. Alright, cool. After this, you want to head down to About Rodrigo. Click on that. All right, cool. After you finish talking with Master Hugh, you want to head back over to her and finish the dialogue. If you say so. <laughs> now, after you finish talking to her, head back over to the blacksmith. Back already. I'm out of Once again, click on about Rodrigo. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who would stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. So, after you finish talking to him, there really isn't any more dialogue options, so I headed back to Rodrigo. So, she want us to ask the master to basically hook her up. Now, here's where I was a little confused, because I didn't have any dialogue options. But I'm sure if you just wait 24 hours, maybe even 48, you know, the dialogue option will come up because I just decided to play it, then I came back, and then this happened. Well, I took you for dead, no matter how your arm said. I spoke with a girl. She has a gift for spirit. 
very chilly. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit she had long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. No worries, my dude, Master Hewn. Now that we're done with him, we just need to find ourselves a new NPC. Now, I was looking all around for like, where is she at? She's legit just right across from the dude, just sitting right there. <laughs> so, turn right back around to where the blacksmith is, and there is Rodrika. Pretty sweet. Let's talk to her and see what she has to say. Good to see you again. Master Hugh, I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I am as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish, but if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. I meet her, the spirit tuning apprentice. Pleased to make you a all right, sweet. After that, ladies and gentlemen, you're done. Welcome to Rodrika, the spirit tuner. Here is where you can start doing some spirit tuning. Now, with the spirit tuner, you can spin runes and grave glow wars to strengthen the spirits you summon for ashes. To strengthen name spirits that you have, you're gonna need ghost glow wars for those. And this is really cool, making your ashes super op and they already are already good so just imagine how much this is going to affect your gameplay especially when you just call them out to distraction or if you really need them to come in a clutch now you know exactly how to unlock this secret npc rodrika and also do some spirit tuning as well and upgrade your ashes how cool is that so i showed you exactly what you needed to do a step-by-step -step guide in order for you to unlock rodrika now all you have to do is get out there unlock her and have some fun but for right now that's pretty much going for the video i hope you truly enjoyed it once again if you are new to the channel how you doing and welcome don't forget to subscribe because I'm right here at carpool gaming upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates tips and tricks guys and news and a whole lot more so hopefully you enjoyed this video once again thank you everybody for all your love and your support and as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one